Hello everyone, now let's talk about X-Path injections. So X-Path injections are similar to SQL injection. So in SQL injection, user supplied input becomes the path of SQL query, whereas in X-Path injection, user supplied input becomes the path of X-Path query. So if the user will supply a malformed input, then that can result into access of restricted file contents. So let's see how XPath injection works. Now let's see how XPath injection works. So in order to test XPath injection, we have to download this another vulnerable web application which is extreme vulnerable web application XVWA. So you can download this application from this link. So once you download this application, you have to extract the files and then you can host this application in your localhost server of Kali Linux. So here you can see that I have already hosted this application on my localhost server and it's up and running. So this is how this application looks like. This application also contains different kind of vulnerabilities which you can test but for the time being we are interested only in XPath. So here is the link of that page XPath injection. Let's open this page. So here you can see a search bar and here it is written search your coffee. So let's delete the previous input. So here it's mentioned search by ID. So let's for example, let's he enter here one. So here you can see that it has displayed the item, the ID is one. So if we change the ID, let's change it to three. So here you can see that it has displayed the item 3 which has ID 3. Now as I told you earlier that XPath injection, LDAP injection, SQL injection all kind of injection are somehow same but instead of executing a SQL query at the backend what this XPath do it actually receives the input from the user which we are just giving so it takes the user input and forms a XML query at the backend. So when the user input is not sanitized properly, what malicious can malicious attacker can do? They actually send the malicious query and with the help of that query, we are able to display all the XML data here. Now let's try to read the page source of this challenge. Now let's have a look at the page source of this challenge. So here you can see that right now I am inside the XVWA path and if I do ls here is a file home.php which is responsible for taking our input. So let's see what inside this file. So here you can see it's a PHP file and if I scroll down here is our XPath query which you can see this is XPath query and it's whatever input is given by user it's just placed here and the query becomes slash coffees slash coffee and id is the user input so if this input is not sanitized properly then a user can able to retrieve all the XML data now let's go back to this challenge and let's try to add here a sql injection payload which we used to bypass login pages. So it was or equals 1. Now if we just click on search you will see that we are able to retrieve all the data all the XML data here in front of us. So this is how the XPath injection works with a little difference that instead of forming a MySQL query, it forms a XPath query and retrieves the XML data. So in this video, we have covered that what is XPath injection and how XPath injection works. Thanks for watching this video.